Okay, so here we are in Ares Innovator. I'm here in the product engineering aspect of the tool and I'm going to open up an assembly. So here when we have the assembly open, I'm just going to give myself some more real estate here. What we have here when we manage parts and bills and materials in Ares Innovator, you'll see here that I am on a very high level assembly here. So I've got a thumbnail that very nicely came over with my CAD connector. Here you can see I have a bill of material. I'm able to view that bill of material in a red line manner. That is an option. In this case, I'm looking at a release, revision B, but I'm also seeing it in comparison to the way it was in revision A. From a bomb perspective, I have another way I can look at the bills of materials. I can also look at them that is an indented bill of material. There's no limit to the indentation or the levels that you have or the number of components that can be related in a bill of material. From our parts, we can also directly attach documents. Those documents can be PDFs, image files. They can also be Office documents that may have come over. These particular documents came over using our Microsoft Office connector. And we also have CAD documents. So again, parts you know, can um, have multiple types of documents and also CAD documents attached to them. This particular file does have CAD documents. As we can see, it's got a high-level assembly as well as a drawing. With our visual collaboration in our viewer, we, also, we can access those files without having to open them up in their native application. What that means is that when I have parts that have these uh, 3D files associated with them, I do have the ability to access a very quick viewer here if I want to take a look at this. This viewer also has the capability of doing some pretty sophisticated things like explosions, right? So if you want to get a closer look at this assembly in an exploded view, also, you have the ability to look at it with uh, a cross-section, x-axis, and I just try to take a quick cross-section. So again, it's a very simple viewer, being able to take a quick look at your geometry. Uh, you can also do some markups if you desire. So you can go over here and do some quick markups if you have an issue. You can point out where the problems lie and also make comments. So again, this is all part of what we call our visual collaboration. Using the same security and permission model that you have for everything else in the software, you're able to come in here and say, uh, please review. What we have here is, again, that same viewer. When there are other types of documents attached, like 2D files, 3D files, everything is available through our, our viewer that requires no download. And again, anything is open for a conversation. Let's go back real quick to taking a look at the overall information about the part. And here you can see that the comment that I just made is included in that, what we call that collaboration, that visual collaboration, that discussion that's going on here. You can also see here that there are other comments that have been made. Now I can take a look and access those comments directly from that thread of conversation and take a look at that. These conversations and, and collaboration are happening in context for those particular parts that are also related to this assembly. And when I want to go to that particular, if I say I really want to go take a look at that assembly, I can click directly and go to that assembly and open it up directly from there. Um, also, I didn't do it before, but from the Bill of Material tab, you can also directly open the Bill of Materials uh, items that are related to this to the top level assembly or any other assembly. So again, all of these things down here are live links if I need to open up any of those component parts. Again, same thing here, we're in a, a sub-assembly. I'm going to take a quick look uh, where used upward in the structure. So as, again, you, as you would expect, we just came to this, we navigated this part from a top level assembly. So you can see it's part of an assembly that also has some change items attached to it. Uh, ECOs as well as problem reports. You can also do a structure view. So the structure browser view is another way to look at the relationships. We already saw bombs, indented bomb. This is an ability to look at all the relationships uh, from this subassembly has. That includes things like CAD documents that are attached to component parts as well as requirements or any other type of item documents, CAD documents that may be attached. This also allows us to do a comparison if we want to compare the current revision B against a previous revision A, we also have the ability to show it in a red line manner here. This comparison tool for the structure also allows you to compare against totally different part numbers. So if you got if you have similar parts and you want to see what the differences are, you're able to do that as well. 
So just finishing up with the change process, again, we, we've seen that we have documents, CAD documents, bomb structure, uh, where used. Here we have the ability to look at the changes. This particular assembly or sub-assembly has had a previous change that released it, but now it's also got one that's currently in process where we're changing out those fans according to that collaboration that we were looking at previously. When we look at the change item, you'll see that there's uh, something we call our impact matrix. This is what, what we call our express ECO. So here you can see that this assembly is getting revised and what revision it's going to. You can also see that those thermocouples are being removed as well as a new fan is being attached. So thermocouples, fans are going away, new version of fan coming in, and the overall extruder is being revised. We can always see the workflow for this change item. So here you can see, I can see in the context of this change where I currently am in the workflow and who it's waiting to sign. I can also see previously who signed off before me. So here we can see that it's waiting for Mike Miller, which is me, which is convenient. And also we can see who signed off on it previously. So we can see where it's been in the workflow. And again, who signed off at these previous steps and how it got to this particular stage. All the workflows in Aris Innovator are configurable so that if the workflow doesn't work for you, you can pick another as well and configure it to your particular business needs. I'm just going to, I could have signed off right directly from that form, but all I want to do is come back here to show how the workflow items show up in my in basket. So when there is something for me to sign off on, if uh, when I first come in in the morning, I can take a look at my in basket and here's that exact change that we were looking at a second ago. The way the actual assignment of the work looks to me is that it looks like a workflow activity completion worksheet. So that one little step in that workflow has multiple tasks associated with it. So if I want to sign off on the CCO to release my extruder with those new fans changed out, the thermocouple uh, taken out as well, I'm going to say I'm going to close the change so that everything looks good. If I want to, I can even comment and say it looks good. And then I can type in my, this, the reason I have to type in my password is because it is, it's not grayed out, so it's required in this step. And the task disappears from my in basket. If we go back over to our parts and I look up that extruder, you'll see it's now released at revision B. And just two more points I'll take a look at. We'll take a look at its history. So when we look at the history of this extruder, we'll see that it was released by virtue of being attached as an affected item on ECO. So we're able to see the full audit trail on what's happened from a standpoint of, of all the manual changes as well as the automation based on the workflows and attached items to ECOs. We also have the ability to look at the revision history as well. Again, full history, you're able to open up at any point in time a previous revision of this particular assembly. So again, that was a quick overview of Aris Innovator, how we manage uh, parts and bombs, documents, a uh, little bit about our visual collaboration and also our change management. There are other types of change item in, items that we didn't go into, but there are problem reports, ECRs, ECNs. We just happened to take a closer look at our Express ECO. Thank you.